previously honored by the LA organization Aid for AIDS, a group that provides food, medicine, and housing for people with AIDS-related illnesses. She is a five-time Tony winner who's back on Broadway in the hit revival of The Gin Game. I'm delighted to welcome Julie Harris. <laughs> Better for seeing you. Oh. I just love you and this show. Oh, thank you so it much. It spreads joy and sunshine to all of us. Well, that is so <laughs> sweet. I thank you for that. I'm having the best time. I bet you are. To get to talk to people like you, I went to see oh. the gin game, and as usual, I was blown away by your performance. Oh, well, that's good. It's a wonderful play. It sure is. Yes. It really is a wonderful play. Were you at all concerned about comparisons to Jessica Tandy, who was a no, uh, who I saw, I saw Jessica and Hume Cronin in, in the gin game 20 years ago. Wow. And uh, I loved it. I, it's one of the plays that was, to me, a great experience to see it in the theater, but I never, well, that was, I was 20 years younger, I didn't think of playing that part. Right. Because I was 20 years younger, right? Uh, and and now I'm I'm exactly the age that Fonzie Dorsey is, when Charles Durning, who plays Weller Martin, asks Fonzie, "How old are you anyway?" Uh, she says, "I'm 71." He says, "71." You know? Right. <laughs> and you look amazing. Can I say that for 71? You look amazing. But to me, to me, this play is a perfect play. It's like Death of a Salesman and uh, uh, Tennessee's uh, The Glass Menagerie. It's perfectly conceived, it's perfectly done. You know, it ends with these two people at each other in that last scene, and there's a, 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 a spring storm outside, an electric storm, and the storm inside them. It's just a wonderful, masterful play. Yeah, it is. Absolutely and, and it's great to do it with Charles Durning. And how and, about Charles Nelson Riley directing? Charles Nelson Riley directing The us. funniest man on the planet, I think. Uh, well, the two of them. Charlie Durning and Charles Nelson Riley. You can imagine what rehearsals were like. We rehearsed in an abandoned bank. Oh. Near you, really? uh, down here uh, opposite Rockefeller, the, the skating rink, and we had the shades down, and you couldn't see the street outside, but we were literally, you know, right on the corner of 50th and Rockefeller Plaza there, and uh, uh, we would rehearse, would see the people walking by, and one joke after another, and I would, we'd come to rehearsal at 10, <laughs> and I would look at 11:30, I'd say. When are we going to rehearse this play? <laughs> <laughs> Stories would come out, and I'd finally say, "I think we should rehearse the first scene." <laughs> and whenever Charles Nelson Riley finishes a story, if it doesn't get a laugh, he goes curtain, <laughs> and he like throws a handkerchief in front right. of us. He cracks me up, curtain. <laughs> <laughs> the guy is a riot. Yes. Now, I, a member of the wedding, what a phenomenal film, and you playing a twelve-year-old yes. when you were in your twenties. Yes, I, I, I was 24. You were 24. And a little Brandon DeWilder was about seven. You know, and Ethel Waters, uh, I don't know how old Ethel was uh, at that time. I think she was in her late 40s, you know. But she was so beautiful. And My so... favorite line, the we of me. Oh, we I have know. a clip from it. I, you know, Liza, seeing Liza today was so moving to I know, it really She's got so me She's so beautiful. Yeah. She is so she is. beautiful. It choked me up. I got oh. it. Wow. Listen, I want to show this because I love this we of me thing. Take a look at you. Right there. That would be you. 26. Until this afternoon, I didn't have a we. But now after seeing Janice and Jarvis, I suddenly realize that the bride and my brother are the we of me. So I'm going with them. I'm going with them and joining with the wedding. This coming Sunday, when my brother and the bride leave town, I'm going with them to Winter Hill. And after that, to whatever place that they will ever go. So oh. amazing. What an amazing performance that was. Yeah. Really. I'm thrilled that you're here. I know you do so much in the fight against AIDS. I know that you were recently honored in L.A., the night of the Tonys. Yes, yes. we were there. That was... Uh, a wonderful evening, actually. Uh, uh, 
James Prideaux asked me to uh, come in January when I was doing a play at the Long Wharf Theatre. And uh, so I said, yes, well, Gin Game's supposed to close May 25th, so I can be there on June 1st. And then, of course, we opened the Gin Game here in April, and uh, we did get good reviews, yes. and, and we've extended the run, so uh, I had to slip in an extra performance to get out to California on that Sunday. And you missed the Tony Awards. I missed the Tony well, Awards. Well, you were so deservedly I, nominated. Well, and I, I, said, uh, I said to everybody, you know, uh, A Doll's House is going to sweep the whole thing clean. Yeah. Janet McTeer. Brilliant. And a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant performance and, and a brilliant play by uh, Mr. Uh, Ibsen, yes. <laughs> and Mr. Heinrich Ibsen, and uh, yes, it was a very exciting time, you know, the Tonys, and you were so wonderful. You oh. gave it a shot of, of life and good blood, and I hope you will do that every year. I'll do whatever you want me to do the rest of my life. You just <laughs> ask me, and I'm there. If you have not seen The Gin Game, please go do. It is absolutely fabulous. It's uh, thrilling to have you here. Thank I you, so Rosie. appreciate Thank it, Julie you. Harris. We'll be right back after this break.